was working out in the yard here and I decided I needed a bit of a treat. Now, I normally don't grow these striped ones. Uh, I normally will grow the round, dark green ones. But I've been eating on them for a couple of weeks. But I've got quite a few of these. But I'm not sure. You know, you know the, the trick to tell when a melon is ripe, you know, you hold your hand on it and then tap it. And you should feel that vibration. Uh, I always compare it to if you ever, like even in a grocery store or something, pick up a can of that Gojo hand cleaner, hold it in hand, just tap it. And you'll, you'll see what I mean. It gets that, it transmits a vibration through it. But I'm used to dealing with some other ones. So I don't know if my method will hold true with this. But we'll see. If it isn't ripe, it's got to be very close. Yeah. Now it could go a little bit further, but you don't want to get them soft either. Well, that's a pretty good melon. Well, now I got a good treat. But them, them dark ones, they're good, and the muskmelons I've been eating on them. But, I had a desire for watermelon. Well, I got watermelon. <laughs> 